Hello everyone, welcome back to Planet and Prospering. I am Linnell and I'm here today to uh, do quite a few things with you guys. Uh, I'm gonna turn you around so you can see some of the things. As you can see, my uh, container garden is in dire need of water. They were watered yesterday, but it is so hot and dry here in uh, South Carolina that uh, it looks like they haven't been watered in a couple days or so. So the first thing I'm gonna do, oh, let me tell you this. I thought I had a bell pepper plant. Um, I actually have a jalapeno pepper, which is fine. Um, I'll get, that, that gives me, um, see if I can get you a view here. Uh, right here. Oh. Uh, that'll give me an excuse to look at all the flowers on there to make some cowboy candy. I love it. Made it one um, time, I guess about two years ago now, and it's delicious. There's a lot that needs to be done. I'm going to start with watering. Um, I cut down a tree. I never did post that, but I will post that. And I call it a tree. It's not a tree. It's actually a camellia bush, and it was just too large. So I cut it down. I hope I didn't kill it. Um, but as you can see, everything is dry. So the first thing I'm going to do is water up everything. And uh, I don't know if you can see. Yes, you can. See my little raised bed back there. And I have some more stuff back there right behind that seat. Um, but I'll take you out there too. Okay, so I've given them some water. I'll give them some more, give that time to soak in. And I've also started coming out in the mornings and watering them just a little bit before the sun gets too hot. And I do get up early, early, so the leaves can dry off um, some before the sun comes up and parch them because it gets really, really hot. Um, I'm gonna, you're gonna see me put my hat back on in a little bit. I am a bug magnet, y'all. I attract everything, mosquitoes. Um, we have yellow flies here, which sting really bad. Um, ants, anything, if I stand still too long, everything comes at me. Um, but <clears throat> anyway, I just want to show you that. And um, what I think I'm gonna do next is go ahead and up pot these uh, tomatoes. Look at them. They even have um, blossoms on them. I hope I don't, you know, interfere with that, but they do need to be up potted. Guys, I am so sorry that the view is not centered and visible as it should be for this part of the video. I will just briefly tell you what I'm doing here and I will probably just delete most of it. I am planting, replanting the tomato plants and what I'm doing is I'm putting some new potting soil in the cloth pots and then of course I'm transferring the tomato plants into this into the uh, new pots at some point I do show you how the roots look in the pots and uh, you will be able to see that 
shortly. But yeah, I'm just going to delete most of this uh, because you can't really see it all. And I do apologize for that. I'm so sorry, y'all. I'm probably going to need more. So two down, four to go. This is what I'm doing for the sake of my memory, my battery, and for my speed. I'm going to uh, stop recording here, but I'll do this four more times. I just wanted to show you guys the root system here. It was definitely time to up pot. This is my second to the last. And when I'm done, I'll show you all of them. And I am, I forgot to tell you that I am using my fabric bu uh, buckets, um, containers. And so far, so good. I really like them. Okay, I've gotten them all repotted. I'm watering them. And I will monitor them. These are two of them. I definitely have to monitor them since these bags are fabric. And um, the nets y'all are getting the fabric and they will dry out fast um i'm gonna leave them on the patio for the night um and figure out where to put them because my patio is getting full y'all uh figure out where to put them tomorrow they've been liking the sun um I want to put them out in the yard with the rest of the stuff over there, um, but I haven't decided yet if that's what I'm going to do. Now I'm picking up the rest of the limbs from when I cut down the camellia. It was super tall, probably pushing eight feet, nine feet. Um, it was too big. So I've taken the first load out. My dump here is where I live does not take yard debris so the only other option i have is to burn it in my backyard and that's what i've decided to do i managed to get the largest debris up there's still a little bit of stuff around that i need to pick up the camera is not showing you the true view um, it's darker than this and it's raining and it's lightning so i'm just going to call it quits for tonight Hello guys, it is another day and I have yet another uh, problem to fix. It is my, one of my rose um, plants, not rose, my goodness, tomato plants. Um, the weight of it has, is, has it leaning and I was intending to put the cage up and I never did and now here I am with a hot mess that I need to fix. So I found some bamboo stakes uh, in Ollie's one day and I bought a couple packs of those. I think it was like six in each pack and I can't find my twine So I'm just gonna use some yarn that I had in one of my school bag school boxes uh, That I'm going to use to kind of wrap around those uh, Bamboo stakes to kind of keep the plant up and I'll show you what it looks like in just a little bit Guys I pulled my plant out the container out to do the to wrap the uh Yarn around the, the, the uh, bamboo stakes and found a huge ant nest on my patio. So anyway, I had to take care of that. But this is what the plant looks like. I've already put the stakes in and I'm just going to go ahead now and wrap the yarn around the stakes to make sort of like a cage uh, to keep the plant up. So, because one of them already broke completely off, I don't know if it's going to make it. Um, if it doesn't, that's okay, because I have plenty more. Uh, but that did hurt my feelings to see that. So, I'm going to set you up and, and try to capture me doing this. This is the first time I've done this. Wish me luck. I lost my scissors and I found them just like that. So this is yarn that I usually have 
and I think I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it in my I usually have this yarn in my desk at my job our students have to wear lanyards with their IDs and it's a penalty if they do not have the IDs around their necks and middle school students do not do a wonderful job of keeping up with their IDs or their lanyards. So it costs, I think it was $5 to get another lanyard. I think it may have been a dollar, I don't know. It cost, it wasn't free after the first one. And so I just bought some yarn one day so I would have something to give them. No, it's not the right color. My school colors were maroon and white <laughs> um, and black. Uh, but hey, beggars can't be choosy. So anyway, that's the situation I'm in today. I can't be choosy. So I'm gonna make a cage using the yarn. Uh, this is something that if I can save it afterwards, I will. If I can't, that's fine too. And I think what I'm gonna do, uh oh, maybe I put scissors on. Double it. Ooh. I'm going to give myself a lot of room to work with here. I saw Yellow Door Urban, or Urban Homestead do this with, um, like I said, twine or some type of other medium besides yarn. Um, and it worked wonderfully for her. Um, and with this one, I'll skip. And I'm not looking for this to work 100%, but something needs to hold it up. And as you can see, it's not doing the best. Maybe I should get this one. I don't know if you can still see everything. And I don't want to put the yarn down to adjust the camera. So I hope you can. Um, okay. So I didn't go up very high. I really just want it to, like I said, keep them from leaning and breaking. Maybe I do this one. Here we go. Okay. Will this last? I don't know. I hope so.
you may hear my dog Sage panting. She broke her lead last night, so she's on a temporary lead until I can buy another one. And I'm just praying that the armadillo that caused her to break the lead last night does not come back tonight. And I may not be standing in the best position for the camera. I apologize for that. Maybe one more knot. We have been having extremely hot weather, which has not allowed me to come out in outside as much as I would like to. And I've also been working on my final assignment um, for my degree and it's just not enough time. And I don't have enough energy. Um, I am one assignment and my capstone away from earning my master's degree. I cannot complete my capstone until school starts back, excuse me, school starts back on the 5th of August for the students. And um, that will be when I'll be able to do my ex action project and get uh, data recorded and go through that whole process and get that submitted. I am trying to get everything submitted um, in the middle of August. I have to have, I think it's either six or eight hours of the lesson and all the stuff that goes with that. So if I can get all of that taken care of in August um, and get it submitted before the end of August, I am really, really, really trying to be able to graduate in September. And, and that's because I want to go to the actual uh, ceremony in Florida. They have them in various places and Florida is the closest one to me, Orlando, Florida. And so I'm excited. I'm trying to get all that stuff done so I can do that. Uh, come, is reminding me of um, undergrad. When you're staying up late studying for finals, uh, I'm gonna put that extra oomph in there so I can get this done. Sage, no, sorry. Sage is only seven months old. So it's like having another child around the house. But anyway, I wanna get that done and hopefully be able to march in September and have that behind me. I have decided to go for my doctorates, but I think I'm gonna give myself some time off um, before I start on that endeavor. But anyway, I've gotten this done. Uh, it is not 100% but it will do what I need it to do, which is hold this plant up. And you see my blossoms, I'm excited. This is the one that broke off and he looks sick. I don't expect him to make it. Um, I just kind of stuck him back in there. Um, I did break off uh, um, one of the stems and that much is in there. So hopefully it will root back. I don't know, it's sad looking. But I do have my other ones over here. They've been transplanted, they're in cloth pots. And um, that's double duty water now, uh, because watering now, because I wanna make sure they're, they're um, moist and they can grow. Um, there are my cucumbers. They were in this green pot together. You can tell this one was not transplanted and this one was, he's a little weak, but he'll be okay. Y'all, I am so amazed over the pumpkin plants. And I'll show you those one day soon, how large they are. This is the first time I've ever done anything with pumpkins and I'm doing it to uh, have pumpkins for the, the, for the dogs and the chickens. They're good for both of them. And um, also for decorations. 
so i did not do everything i intended to do with this video but i did show you where i cut down the camellia i pray it doesn't die um but if it does oh well um y'all a little horrible in this hat mm. um bugs y'all so uh, i have all of that i did not take it to the dump because when i went out there they do not have a bin for yard debris so i ended up hauling all that stuff to the back of my property thank god i live out in a rural area i will be able to burn that um i have water holes and everything that will reach back there so if things try to get out of hand i'll be able to control that problem um there's some area back there that does need to be worked on i may or may not uh, add that in a video um, coming up soon, but I only have a handful of days left, guys, to get a lot of stuff done. Um, and today was wasted with some personal business that did not work out the way I needed it to work out. Today is gonna have to hold off, but I thought of something that I'm gonna try tomorrow um, and see if I can get that situation handled um, between now and and then and september is when it would actually be able to be finalized i don't want to wait until september i have enough going on in september uh so with that being said thank you so much for taking some time to watch my video uh please leave questions and comments down below uh i, I i'm excited to talk to you guys talk to me ask me questions uh, give me suggestions of things that you would like me to do or um, say in the video. If you would like for me to do more uh, teaching stuff, let me know that so I can go ahead and start planning for that. Um, I used to do um, clean with me videos. If you're interested in that, please let me know down below. I can go back to doing those because believe me, I have a lot to clean inside and out. Again, thank you. Uh, and I will see you again very soon. Bye-bye.